This year, things have been tough. I'm getting emotional, but that one was for Rudy. But they've also been fun. <laughs> Real fun. Bulldogs pick up a big win over number three, Texas. And we've shown exactly what we're capable of. Triple City. We now stare 24 conference games in the face. They start league play this weekend up at hated Boise State. And when you look at where we plan to go, that's not enough. Our goals are higher. Just know that's our standard. Well, it's been a crazy week, uh, to say the least, in the world of sports. And I'm joined now by uh, Linda Garza, the, the head coach of that Fresno State softball team, who's putting together a special year. But then this week found out, as you were on your way to Boise State to play a road series, that unfortunately because of the coronavirus all spring sports have been suspended indefinitely and the national championship uh, of softball has been canceled outright altogether already um, first off tell me about your experience this week where you were when you found out that news that you know sports had been suspended or your sport had been suspended you know I feel like on Wednesday the day before we were getting ready to leave we were kind of getting word of, of what was going to potentially happen um, none of the conferences at that point had really made any major decisions um, I believe the Ivy League was the first one who kind of made a big statement from the get-go that they were going to cancel all spring sports so we kind of waited uh, we knew the NCAA basketball was going to have no spectators um, so we boarded a plane uh, around 4 30 a.m. we needed to depart so there wasn't going to be much that we thought happened that morning um, by the time we landed in Seattle our phones were blowing up that you know Kansas had decided that they weren't going to participate um, now the Mountain West was going to get was on, a phone on Thursday call. And this was on Thursday at this point so um, at that point we pulled all the players in and um, we said we really didn't have much news, but we did want to know when the next plane headed back to Fresno. Um, and we waited for the conference office, we waited for the athletic department, and they did a great job of informing us. We got home safely later on that evening. Uh, and then by the time we actually boarded the plane, we realized that the spring session had, had been canceled. And it was devastating, absolutely devastating to everyone, including us coaches as well as the players. Do you talk to your team at that point? And if you do, what do you say? You know, it's just so many emotions that are going on. Um, you not only are so excited with what's going on within the last 12 hours, just of how excited you are to start conference, you don't believe it's going to impact you. That's a season that's, in essence, three months away, that a championship. Uh, so being able to communicate with them, you know, the biggest thing is, like, what's next? Uh, do we have our eligibility? All questions that we don't have answers to, um, as well as kind of letting somebody know that for the first time, you know, we're not in control. Um, it was hard. It was hard. I believe it was hard for every single wow. college coach, high How school coach um, at any level. Sports is something that we've grown up with our entire lives. And for the first time, I feel like we got put on hold. Um, so it's been it's been difficult. Uh, but I'm definitely excited for our community in terms of that. We're taking it seriously and we're doing what we need to do um, to take care of this nation. So it sounds like you're behind the decision. Yeah, I, I think we need to. Um, we have to. We don't know what's ahead of us. Uh, do I, you know, always say like the three months away from now? Um, I just hope everybody is, is healthy and safe. You know, I know enough family members. You know, I can't go by my aunt right now who's battling cancer. And, and so it definitely resonates with me at home. So um, I think it's the right thing to do. You mentioned that uh, the eligibility issues and there is some news out there that seniors and really all spring sports athletes at this point and maybe even some winter sport athletes as well might get another year of eligibility. Um, can you quickly give me an answer as to what you think about that and is, is that really is that a step in the right direction? I know we need to do what is right. Um, I believe that the governing body the NCAA is going to do everything they can to, to make this right for all of the student athletes that have committed their lives obviously to sport and there's a lot ahead of us right now and I know Fresno State's working really hard to honor all of those commitments. Right now I think we really just have to stay focused on the current. Um, I do believe the NCAA is going to uphold what we're talking about in terms of giving that year back. I just think we're so far from actually being at the logistics of how that's going to work. That's Linda Garza, head coach of the Bulldogs softball team. The Bulldog Insider will return after this break.